Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to test out this Electro Scorpion Whipper Snipper, or as some people might call it, a Weed Whacker. Um, so basically, I got this given to me um, from my dad, and I'm going to see. But he says it works, 100% believe it, but I still want to test it anyway. We'll uh, inspect it, we'll see um, pretty much what we, yeah, just and look at it, see what type of condition it's in, we'll test it. It's electric, so hence the name Electro Scorpion by Ryobi. And uh, yeah, so we'll um, I'll just lay it down here on the ground. Okay, so what can we see? So it's a Ryobi, it's a 525 watt unit. Um, so we'll just check the casing, see if there's any cracks. Looks all good, we've got a warning sticker here. Switch off and remove plug from PowerPoint. Something flexible cord becomes fouled before adjusting and cleaning the trimmer. So we've got a handle and we've got the uh, the line got some couple of bolts that are rusted probably needs a clean up but for free um, it's okay it'll be good for what I need it to be for and we'll open it up and we'll have a look so I'll put you guys on my tripod here and then I can have a look all right so we've got the unit up here so uh, I believe we just twist this <sighs> Uh, what does it say on here so rewind line bump head reusable so i think we just uh, show how to get this off actually pretty straightforward <laughs> should just unscrew it Oh, yep. <laughs> so that's all the cable it's got left. So we don't we have to replace the cable. Well, you know the the trimmer line. But uh, yeah. Um, I'll put that back on, and then we'll plug it into the power point. I love old like old stuff like this because normally people would just probably just get rid of it. Um, you know, get the new new line, uh, like the new model, brand new. You know, this obviously this unit's not new at all, but. If it still works, there's no point chucking it out, right? Unless you need to, but I think there's something wrong with it, hopefully. It's like uh, we all just need the new gadgets, everything new, but there's something wrong with the old stuff. So we'll plug this in and we'll see what happens. Alright uh, guys, so we've got a really overkilled extension lead, but this is all I've got. So uh, the power point's not far. I'll plug it into the wall and we'll plug that place into that bit so and we'll give it a test see what happens so as i said no idea if this works so we've got our plug and we'll grab the other end so that's all plugged in and we'll give it a test here we go definitely works all right so we'll just try in this corner just there there's not much line left but we'll give it a little test <laughs> hang on a second need more cable all right guys take two <laughs> Uh, unit actually for an old for an old thing. Oh, well, I'll disconnect it. Yeah, it's quite an impressive uh, unit. 
pretty much at the end of the cable now, so I'll get some more for it. But yeah, Electro Scorpion, it's a very old type unit. I actually should do some research, I've never even heard of it before, but um, yeah. Obviously, I didn't do a perfect job, I just did a quick one, but yeah, no, it's actually a pretty uh, powerful unit. It's not too loud either, it's actually quiet. Well, you know, considering it is quieter than a petrol unit, and yeah, it's electric, so no, I'm quite, quite impressed with this unit. So thanks, Dad, thanks for the unit. Um, we got, yeah, so 525 watt. I'm not sure how rare these are or if there's any more around, but yeah, I don't, I've never seen these in the shop, but I, as I said, obviously with the age, it's probably, uh, probably a 1990s type model. I'm not actually sure. Um, but there you go, guys. Well, um, that's powered by a 220 volt power socket. Obviously in America, I think it's 110 volt, but here it's 220. And, um, Really, it's nothing else really to look at. It's got a guard, like a protection guard here. Obviously, yeah, as I've said, it needs new new cable wire. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. There was obviously some type of sticker, like a price tag. Maybe we can zoom in on it. Nah, you can't even work out what it says. But uh, yeah, she works. So, what's underneath it? Oh yeah, we've got to hang on. Wait, we've got some more information underneath. We've got oh, made in USA. Okay, yeah, I did not realize that. Didn't even check. Ah, oh, so it's an American-made Ryobi machine. That's pretty awesome, actually. No wonder why it worked so well. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, uh, thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one.